Hey, folks, it's Rithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Factorio. We've had a little break. Let's get back to building a million minions. More along the lines of what I've done down here with our rocket launchers. We've done 10 satellite launches now. You realize that? We've got 10 satellite launches. There's another one just gone out, and I've got several more here. This is really going to be sucking resources dry. This is really going to be pulling through resources, this is. Like you wouldn't believe. Um, it would probably help a little bit if I didn't have those chests. Because if those chests are full, I don't think it will launch anymore until the science is consumed. I think that stops it from being launched. Although I, I'm not sure on that. It might just void the um, science. So I, I don't know if you can stop the rocket launches by having science consumed but what i've done is i've put um push chests there so they're going to put them put that science off into long-term storage and these are just going to keep going that might be a mistake that could end up being a mistake no i don't want to copy anything there right uh military we're we're, we're on military so i want to go paste right here so if i take that one there and I was looking up here. That's given me that much gap down there. It's actually given me a little bit more gap at the top. But I'm going to put that there. That's, that's actually giving me a little bit extra. If I drop that one there, it does reach the end. And that one does also reach the end one. So it will give a little bit I could... Seems a bit excessive, doesn't it? All right, you know what? We won't worry about that. I, th I think that is a little bit too excessive. So we will go like this. And I will actually copy that. Like that. There. Right. We will do this old trick. And I'll bring that down. And I will line that up there like that. And we will put those down in place just to start things off like that. And then I will take some of these. And we will line them up exactly opposite the existing ones just to make things nice and even excuse me uh, like that and then we can take let's go up here let's see where i put them all exactly the same here uh right on the edge of that first one right so that one goes there that's where we are marking that out from and then you drop down by one like that. And then we put you in there. I go into here. And this is military science that we're making in here. So that one I will copy into there. Nine piercing rounds. Nine grenades and 18 walls. That's not enough as far as I'm concerned. One, one and two. So we'll, 100 of each should be sufficient. I don't think we need any more than that. 100 of those. 100 grenades. And 200 pieces of wall. That is a bit more like it. Then we will take a passive provider out here. If I was to put that up there, I could squeeze this up a bit more. And I could put an extra line into each of these squares. I'm very well aware that I could do that. But I kind of like, the, the reason I don't want to is that I just think it's better having it slightly spread out. Especially for later on when we're, we're having things all really spread out is going to be exactly what we're going to be wanting it's, it's going to be like quite a crucial element of everything that we're trying to do is having it as spread out as possible um right that one will go on to there i'll leave it like that a minute and then you will go there and there because one is not enough to cover all of them so we have to do it like that and then I can copy that bit like that and I go over here like this copy that all the way through and I think what I've done with each of the others is I've got 11 going across in it yeah I do I've got 11 look see 2 4 6 8 10 11 so we'll do one more extra one out on that end over there. Which does kind of mess up the symmetry of it a little bit. But let's be honest. 
We're not going to be looking at the symmetry of it very much. Still messes it up. Still, it's, it still feels wrong, ever so slightly wrong. Ooh. If I was to put that one over onto there, and uh, I'll move them all over. Deconstruction planner. Uh, this this is the quickest way to do it, is to use a deconstruction planner. So if I right mouse button to open, that's got small electric poles being set at the moment. I'll go into there, and I'll just add the medium electric poles onto it. So then I can do this, and I can remove... Those ones that have been put down like that, and my robots will go and get rid of them. And then what we can do is instead, I can drop them in there like that and do them every other one. That will then make it look a lot more even and pretty. So we don't have that uneven patch right at the end. There. It's very important that it's all laid out perfectly and beautifully. And love the concrete coming in the concrete coming in is absolutely wonderful lots of concrete coming in there landfill down here is doing really well i've got a big chunk of that already done i've got another wave of landfill on its way right there and then up here if you look we've got more slugs of landfill on their way down just filling in all of that bit all the way around there but we'll, we'll let that carry on i'm not going to worry about it for a minute this over here can keep doing what it's doing and ignore all of it ignore everything what i do want to do is i want to copy that lot because that's now looking spot on perfect and then i can no one mistake because i don't want to copy those so we will copy again but we will only go as far as there like that copy that lot into there and then that one and then uh, that one there and then I want to go to that one down there for the final section which is going to be there like that uh, you I don't want you there so that one can be gotten rid of everything else has now been placed down I've got a couple of extra requests coming over, and that one is now up and running. The only problem we've got is that we don't have... I now need to make a square for each of the ingredients. That's going to be the next thing, is I've got to make a square for each of the ingredients. So, I'm wondering if it would be quicker if I was to make a, a blank square. So, I could just drop down a blank square... And then, once the blank square is in place, I can then just go in and plaster in a recipe and plaster in um, the requester chests with what I want to put into them. Might be, you know. Maybe I'll, I'll do that. We'll, we'll have a look at that, and we'll see if a blank square will make any difference. And there is a really, really hideous mistake that I've just made. I forgot to go and put in these... So I need to do that a minute. There. I put those into there. And I want to put that one up like that. Right. Put you that way. One there. And one over there. And then I've got to wait for my own bits to come back. I, I'm going to go up here. And I'm going to start making a blank square. That's the next thing that we're going to want. So I, well, actually, I'll just, I'm going to copy and paste this one, but then I'm going to have to undo everything that's requested on there. I can do that fairly quickly. I will be able to undo everything fairly quickly on it. Um, I'm actually going to make this as an official blueprint so that I don't have to keep copying everything. But let's do that. Let's, let's not forget to include the location marker that we like to use. So I'll bring you up here, and we'll put the location marker on, and I will do that. Right, that's everything going out. So I want to get rid of all of these requester chests as quickly as I can. There. It would be even faster if I was to not put requester chests down at all. If, if I had a... Um, uh, a what do you call thingy? Uh, deconstruction. If if I was to deconstruct 
all of these blue chests, that would be faster. But we can do it like this. And then once I've got these all lifted out of the way, I can then change the recipe on the factory. And then we can put down... Uh, well, no, I, I, I won't change the recipe on the factory. I'll just get rid of the recipe on the factory. The only downside to that is that I can't have a recipe on the factory. Right, that's got rid of all the blue requests for a minute. Um, I can't have a recipe on a factory. There. Oh. Oh, I can. I get rid of it, and it does... I gotta choose a recipe for assembling, but it does allow me to keep them on there. And it will only remove them afterwards. I'm hoping it will still copy this, so we, we can do it like that. And I'm hoping that my copy-paste of this will actually allow us to keep the modules in there. Rid of that. There we go, and... That one, right. There's a few of them. I should have some more speed. Uh, yeah, I got more productivity modules. Uh, run down here and start working through putting more productivity modules in here. It's important that we keep these in. And run along there like that. And then I go up here and run along there. So there's a few more of them done. Next, we will go up this way. And I will go on to there get rid of that one. Right, I won't change any more of that. Because I'm pretty certain if I do, I can't go and put the modules in. If I go in here and I get rid of the recipe, like that, it simply does this. It won't allow me to place these in. I mean, I can try. Oh, it does. It allows me to put them in when they're blank. Realised that was even a thing. I, I had no idea that was even a possibility to be able to put them in when they're blank. I'm going to want to put these in here for a minute. Anyway. So then I can keep getting rid of this stuff. Yeah, I'll do that. And then... I'll get rid of all of these. This is going to be worth it. Because then all we got to do is we got to set up the first one. Decide how much we want. And then we just do a copy... We, we just... Um, copy it and then run along and do the paste all the way down through for the whole thing and it's actually going to, it will be really really quick running all the way through just pasting in everything that we want and if we do choose a recipe that doesn't allow us to have the productivity modules it will simply change that around, it, it just won't let us keep it while I'm waiting for the rest of those to be put in I will then go here and I will start putting those down I'm going to run along, all the way along here, like this, and I'll put these requester chests in. I got rid of them all. There's nothing else that we need to worry about with them. I just got to drop these in, and then they will be ready on our blank to go and put in all the new stuff. Because I'm going to need several of these blanks, right? I got to set up a block for each of the recipes of the science. So I've got what whatever we need to make in each of the science, I want a square making each of the recipes for each of the science packs. Uh, work a robot speed up here. That's coming along really nicely. Let's go and check it. Let's go and see if the labs are still crammed full of... They're not. I've got a shortage. Blue. Blue seems to be one of the biggest shortages, although I've, I've got shortages of everything. So it's, it's definitely slowed down now. Definitely we've got some serious slowing down. Uh, 19 satellites have been launched, which means that we're really starting to use up a load more resources on here. And you can see that we're starting to spread out more and more to some of these other resources. Like we're coming up over here. We're, we're pulling... Um, robots out of these factories, uh, these roboports here that haven't been used for a very, very long time. None of these are actually pulling out. It, some of them are going into storage. Look what we've got in storage. Does it tell me? Where, where am I going to... I know how to actually... It would just be easier if I searched. Let's do a search then, shall we? We go robot like that. Logistic robot. I got 29,000 in storage at the moment. Robo ports and flying robot frames. I've got loads and loads of them. 
But this up here, this isn't very good, actually. Although, I suspect for the most part, that's not going to be a continual run. This is just kind of temporary. Most of it, the robots will be coming from up here. It's just that it just so happens that we've got tens of thousands of robots right now in all of the robot ports around there because they were going, bringing coal up and then disappearing off and sitting down into the ports and not doing anything more. Iron, we're now pulling out from over here. We're bringing in the landfill over there just to fill in that last little bit. Those bits of iron there, I reckon that that will speed up, will will correct the frame rate a little bit if we were to change what we're doing with the iron, just, just a tiny smidgen. I want to come down here a second and finish putting this one in, so I've got all of that actually finished. Those. Uh, run along there like that. Right, that is the grey science, military science is now complete. We go back up here to our blank plate. I want to get some more of these. Drop a few in here. Let's undo the recipes that I got in here. Like this. I've got more of them now on their way, which is good because I've just about run out. Do that and then get rid of that one. And then I've got... Five more here that I want to do. Put them in there like that. Get rid of these recipes. I've got the blank blue chests in place as well. That one right there. I need to put the modules on. There. Right. They've all got modules. They've all got power. We've got modules. We've got speed beacons. Perfect. That is absolutely perfect all the way through. So there, I've now got a blank square, which I can then use. So instead of having to constantly set it up and build it, I think th I think this is a really good idea. I like this idea, even if I do say so myself. So I've got RoboPort Solar right there, and I've got the RoboPort Tile, which is that one. Crude Oil Square is a beautiful square. The Green Circuit there is... One that we'll use in other tiles, so we want to keep that, I want to keep that, and then I've got uh, mining, a big old blueprint for that, and that blueprint there, that's just a copy-paste blueprint, really, and then I've got factory basic and I've got landfill. Open this one a minute. Factory basic can just go in there, because I'm not using it, so there's a little bit of extra space. You, I will get rid of, and then I'll take that blueprint, and we will go up into the corner and include that one. And then I will come out. And let's just make sure, I want to look down through. I mean, we can look up on here. i got 33 of them, 33 of them, and 33 of them. So we know that the numbers are correct on that. Uh, 66 of those, which is double exactly, and it's the same with the lamps. And then it should be 33 times 4 for 132 is correct, yes. And then I got 48 beacons, 96 of those. Right, the num all the numbers add up on here. That does seem to be correct. So we will go here, and we will go... Um, just blank square is all I'm going to call it, is a blank square. There. Right, I've now got a blank square. Perfect. Absolutely perfect and wonderful. So we will, uh, I'll do this in map mode a second. So I wanted to do yellow here, purple here, blue here, green there and red over there. So I'm going to put a blank square in each of these. I will now place in a blank square. Like that. On each of these. So there's the fourth blank square and there is the fifth blank square right there. I've got five more. I've got five blank squares being built. Those we will turn into the various different science packs. I've got a blank square here that I want to start constructing some materials from. Which I was going to want to start doing some of this material from. So I need walls and I need um, grenades and I'm going to need piercing rounds. To make piercing rounds I'm going to need basic rounds. 
So I've got like two sections to do for that one. Did I build anywhere up here anything extra? I've... No, I didn't. I do have explosives up there, but I... No, grenades, you don't need explosives. This was different altogether. That, that wasn't anything to do with the piercing rounds. Okay. So in which case... Well, I'm still waiting on a little bit of landfill. Uh, not landfill. Um, some... Yeah, these. They're bringing them up. Um, they're reinforced concrete. So I want to go back to my... Where's my square? Blank square right here. There's those being built. I want piercing rounds. In there. This one, I want that one to be basic rounds. So that's going to be taking care of that bit. This one, that blank square there is going to be walls. Or should that be walls? Stone processing is going on over here. We're making stone right in that square there. If I'm making stone here... I can make the walls over here, because walls, if you have a look, the wall requires stone. Yeah, five stone brick. Right, we will copy this one here. This, this right here, this needs to be copied and pasted. So I will copy that one. Like that, and I'll drop another one of those in there, so that I've got plenty of those being built into that section right there. Now, I've got a shortage of power right now. Which means that my overall power satisfaction is down. That's not good. That's not good at all. I did say before I was going to do some accumulator squares. So that I've got a few more accumulators than I've got um, like the solar panel builds. Really I think what I ought to do is just make more solar panel squares. Although that does that is going to take quite a bit of doing. In my nose for a minute. Um, no, not there. It's down here. Right. That one there has now been requested and built so that I've got another one of those. So I'm thinking the walls ought to be built there. And then they can be ferried back from up here. That, I think, would be a better option. If we do it from all the way up there. Although I've got stone coming in down to here. Stone does turn up there. So I have the option of using that stone. So I could do... I could actually do it right here, right in front of that. I can use that stone and I can drop it here. And that could then be an option. So I will do again. I will paste. And I'll drop you there. So I've got another furnace set. And then I will do my blank square. What did I use as my picture for the blank square? It's there. All right, that is actually okay for the blank square. And I dropped that one there. That's where I will make the walls, down this side. So they're a little bit closer to the square that I want over here. But it's not going to sort of be intruding on it too much. Right. Job done. So what were we going to do here? What I need for this? Walls, grenades, piercing rounds. So we will do grenades, and then those two over there. And then the rest of it we will deal with in a minute. Let's, let's get this done first. So this one here is my first one. Unfortunately for these, the only real way to do it now is I've got to go over each one, and then I just I copy-paste. I've got to run through it to copy-paste it. Uh, grenades, this one is. So we just want basic grenades, which is ten coal and some iron plate. Oh, that's a good start. I'm not going to be able to put the productivity modules into there. Never mind, that's, that's fine. So I'll copy that and I'll paste it into there. That is 200 coal. And 100 iron plate. 10 coal, 5 iron plate. I think we'll put that to uh, 400 and 200, like that. 
So I will copy that one. And then all you got to do is run along the line like that with while you're pressing shift and it just automatically will do it. So I press shift and then click on it like that and it automatically puts it in. And just press and hold the shift click as you run along and it pastes everything that you want. And then I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to copy that one. And then I'm going to shift as I run along here as well. Like that. And that's giving me all of these productivity modules along here. There. Right. Job done. So the, all of these bits here, the walls and everything, this um, probably going to end up giving me quite a few productivity modules in total. But that's fine. I'm quite happy with that. I am more than happy for it to do that. Next, I want to do... No, I don't want to go up there. I want to drop down to this one. And this bottom one down here is the one that I want to start on. I've got... Robots should be on the way to bring those in. I'm going to look in here. And I need basic rounds. Because in order to be, make the best next ones, I've got to have the basic ones first. So those right there. And again, I can't do the productivity modules. But these only require iron plate. They require nothing else, just iron plate. So I can copy that, and I can run along there like that. Do the same down here. Over to there, and i got to wait for those to come and be built. So I can do that bit there like that, and then I can run along here and do the same into those. And... While I wait for those to be built down there, we can then move up this way and we can start setting this one up. So you in here, I now know want, I want the piercing rounds, like that. And I copy that one and I paste it into there. So we're requesting 50 of them. I'm going to request 100 of those because they're from quite a bit further away. And 250 copper, I'll put that up to 400 copper in there. I think that will be about right. What have I got? I need five, one, and one. Yeah, that'll do. 450 of them. Perfect. Right. Copy that one. Run all the way along like that. And then back this way. Yep. It's doing it. And then over here. And that's doing that one. Then I'll go back up here. Copy that one, and run along here. Once I've done these, actually, I will go over and I'll set up that wall one as well. So then I've actually got everything done for the grey science. That will then be complete. I won't need to worry about any more of it. This is now finished in here. I've got all the requests that I need in there, and I've got all the requests that I need in there. Down here... I've got 600 iron on their way, it's just that they're going to take a minute or two to get here, because we're waiting on robots to turn up. The robots are actually now turning up to bring these in. Ooh, chests are done. So if I go up here, I can... Uh, you... Shift right click that one to copy it. And then shift left click. Sometimes I forget which way round it is. It's shift right click to copy, shift left click to paste. Um, and I'm just waiting on... Actually, that's, everything has been placed in here now. So then I can right click that one. Oops. Bring that over there. Why are you still waiting for that? shouldn't be well folks rome wasn't built in a day and a million minions are not going to be built in a single episode so we've run out of time so if you've enjoyed the episode then please head down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome and until next time thank you very much for watching this is frithgar goodbye and see you later